An appeals court decision released today is creating some confusion over the legality of abortion in Michigan. 13 on your side's Alina Holland is in the newsroom with what we know so far. Alina? Well, hi, Val. Today, the appeals court said a court injunction that freezes a 1931 law banning most abortions does not apply to county prosecutors. So it's unclear if that means the law goes into effect immediately. It depends on who you ask. Yesterday, Attorney General Dana Nessel tweeted the status of abortion rights were hanging by a thread. And today, she tweeted, the thread has torn. The Michigan Court of Appeals has ruled Michigan's 83 county prosecutors can now begin enforcing the abortion ban. Nessel goes on to say Democratic prosecuting attorneys have refused to enforce the ban and the injunction still applies to her department. However, Planned Parenthood claims the ruling is not in effect until after the time the appeal, the decision, has been passed, which is 21 days from today. We're committed to protecting abortion access in Michigan. We believe that the Court of Appeals order is wrong. Any prosecutor who attempts enforcement before, uh, before that uh, period of time would be acting outside the law and they should be held in contempt. From the beginning, Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker said he would enforce the 1931 law. We spoke to the attorney representing both Becker and the prosecutor in Jackson County who called today's decision a victorious defeat. And I know there's been a host of other people on the other side from professors to the ACLU to judges to Governor Whitmer, you know, Planned Parenthood, on and on and on, have all claimed this order binds local county prosecutors and they can't prosecute. That simply is not true, and the Court of Appeals vindicated us today. So it's a very satisfying decision. We're very pleased with it. Today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is fighting to protect access to abortion in Michigan after today's decision. She requested a temporary restraining order against the enforcement, hoping to block enforcement of the 1931 ban. And coming up tonight at 11, we have Right to Life Michigan's reaction to that decision. Val? Thank you, Elena. Well, under the 1931 law, anyone who performs an abortion in a state could in the state could face felony charges punishable by up to four years in prison and a $5,000 fine. Today, the Michigan State Medical Society released a statement saying, quote, we have always been and continue to be opposed to the potential criminalization of physicians and their parents in making health care decisions. It goes on to say physicians and their patients should be free to consider, discuss, and pursue medical procedures guided by a physician's best medical judgment and a patient's physical health and safety. Well, police in Kalamazoo are investigating after they say a fire was intentionally set at Planned Parenthood. And they have now released a photo of the suspect. The Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety shared this on social media today. That fire happened yesterday around 4 in the afternoon at the building on West Michigan Avenue. The building was closed at the time and no one was hurt. Firefighters were able to put out the fire within 10 minutes. Only the outside of the building was damaged. If you recognize this person, call police or silent observer.